Welcome or welcome back to the channel. Today's video is going to be all about flying drones in the Florida Keys so that you can get some awesome shots like this. I always like to do a ton of research about where you can fly drones before I actually fly because obviously there's a lot of red tape when it comes to flying. You definitely do not want to end up with some hefty fine or, you know, breaking the law or anything like that. So I'm here to kind of help you before you take your drone down into the Florida Keys. I'm going to talk about where you cannot fly and then I'm going to give you some suggestions about where you can fly. So let me go ahead and get started with the federal laws. As a drone pilot, you should already know all of the federal drone laws regarding where you are not allowed to fly, but let me just kind of go over these in regard to the keys. First of all, you can't fly in national parks, and there's a few national parks in the keys. So at the very northern end, there is Biscayne National Park, and then at the southern end, there's Dry Tortugas. And then part of the Everglades also kind of encompasses the waters in the northern area. So just make sure you aren't flying in any of those national parks. It's definitely, it would be a huge mistake to do so. It's, you're gonna get a fine, things are not gonna look good for you, and you're also just gonna look like an idiot. <laughs> And then the second federal law to be aware of here in the Keys is going to be flying within five miles of an airport. You cannot fly within five miles. So just make sure you aren't doing that. The really the only main airport in the Keys is the Key West Airport. And that completely cuts out all of Key West. You can't fly in Key West because it's all within five miles of the airport. And then there's also a Naval Air Station down by Key West as well. And you can't fly there. Now that we've covered the federal laws, let's move on to the Florida state laws. According to Florida state drone laws, you can't fly in state parks, which cuts out a lot of the keys because there's a lot of beautiful state parks in the keys. I talk about some of them in my video about where to take photos on the ground without a drone, if you want to check out that video. Um, but you won't be able to take any footage with your drone in those parks. And then you also are not allowed to fly over or take photos of private property in Florida. So just keep that in mind as you're flying, you're gonna need some public space to take photos. All right, now you're probably wondering where you actually can fly a drone in the Florida Keys. And my answer is going to be really simple. And that is from bridges. There are 42 bridges in the Florida Keys and most of them have a place where you can pull off. A lot of people fish from there or you can also fly your drone. Um, that's where I flew my drone most of the time. I was down in the Keys and I was able to get some really beautiful shots of the surrounding area. These little parking areas are public, so it's okay to fly your drone there. Just be aware that there are power lines going over a lot of the bridges, so you definitely wanna keep an eye out on those as you're taking off and landing. And then when you are flying over the water, just be really cautious. I know a lot of people are worried about flying over water with their drone. It's expensive equipment. If it falls in the ocean, it's gone forever but as long as you make smart decisions, you should be okay. Don't fly too low to the water. Don't fly too far away. Always stay within signal range. Keep an eye on your drone at all times or have a second um, person looking out for you and you should be fine. I didn't have any trouble losing signal or anything like that, but again, I always kept it within eyesight. You're definitely gonna have a lot of fun flying in the Keys. It's it's just so beautiful. I liked taking straight down images of the reefs under the water and little islands, as well as the cute little towns and everything. I was also able to spot some wildlife with my drone, manatees, rays, even a shark. Um, so that was really awesome. You might be able to spot something. I always saw the wildlife around sunset but you might be able to see it at other times as well. It just kind of 
depends on your luck, I think, mostly. So have a lot of fun flying your drone in the Keys. Just make sure you follow all the laws and regulations, yada yada. It's really annoying sometimes owning a drone because there's so many places where you are not allowed to fly. But as long as you do follow those rules, you should be fine. Go ahead and share some of your photos in the comments if you want, or give me some more suggestions on where to fly in the Keys. I would love to hear it. If you liked this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up, subscribe. Um, like I said, I have another video about taking photos in the Keys if you wanna check that out. And yeah, otherwise, just make sure you have an awesome day. Bye.